So this is actually a funny video because we're actually learning lessons every day of our life. Every day is a lesson, every conversation, there's teaching in it, there's learnings in it. But if I had to break down my learnings from this year that really helped develop my personality, heal myself emotionally or maybe even physically, and even enhance my life so that I can be more aware. It's currently like 40 degrees outside. Oh boy. Yep. It's cold. So yes, I agree that throughout this year we have definitely learned more than just a few things and I would even take it as far to say that every day is a lesson. The people that we interact with, there's always a little teaching to be found. So when I am able to be aware enough to remember that everything is a lesson and every day is a lesson, it really helps to move us forward in life and just to be at more acceptance and realize that like this is a this is all like a, a path that we're on, whatever it is, and the path brings us every inch of the way. So every second of the day is part of the path, of part of that development of you. And so just that reminder is so beautiful. Handle an issue before it builds up. <clears throat> and the reason that I thought that this was a lesson that I learned, basically it is to handle something right when it becomes there and not to wait until the next day and not to let it build up because the more you store something and the longer you store something it just accumulates and get, gets bigger. So this can be used in pretty much any scenario whether it's like your emotions or an argument or clothing that you just got out of the laundry or a mess or anything like that or even homework or a project you know. The deeper message between that is like it's true when we don't handle issues right when it comes it can build up and for me this lesson is not about laundry it's not about homework it's not about work it's about relationships and conflict usually so a lot of the times i we go throughout our day to day having conversations and maybe even having not a argument not a conflict but a little a little blockage or mistake in communication with other people and a lot of times it can go unsaid. People just brush it off, they'll be like, whatever, or they'll kind of think about it for a few hours but still try to be uh, nice to a person uh, or try to set it and forget it. But really, when that issue comes or miscommunication comes or conflict comes, it's really better to just speak about the elephant in the room or however the address the elephant in the room. I don't, I forgot the saying, but it's really much better. It doesn't really matter the emotion or the type. It doesn't have to be an argument, but just even just a misalignment or something that's unorganized, just like getting on that in terms of relationships and communication is um, really important because if you don't, just like the laundry, it just builds up over time where you have multiple miscommunications and then you start to make, it just piles up with the miscommunications and things going in different directions and different understandings and different perspectives. <clears throat> and so it's such a beautiful thing to learn this because it lets you know that we weren't aware of this way of communicating to just face misunderstandings and conflicts head on right when it happens from a place of listening, a place of actually wanting to hear the other person out and get their point of view. And so it's very important to just stop right there and just be like, let your ego go, whether it's like you don't want to sound dumb, you don't want to sound mean, whatever the emotion is that you're avoiding. Just breathe into it and communicate and things really end up for the better. Um, after that and a lot of weight is lifted off your shoulders and it provides like mental freedom and emotional freedom in my opinion. I think it's a beautiful thing to realize and it's really helped me a lot in my relationships this year. It doesn't matter what um, dynamic it is, um, just to make sure I'm having open and clear communication and when there is something, I address it. No matter if it's good, bad, uncomfortable, weird or funny. Just addressing everything and being okay with expressing my word, my feelings and being authentic. So communication this year was very big for me and I'm so glad that I had to go through the last 22 years of my life with the uh, trouble communicating just to have learned this lesson of communication because it makes my communication for the rest of my life 10 times more enjoyable. So um, that brings me into the next lesson, which I probably mentioned last year, <laughs> it's so funny, is to be, I'll say it actually another way. <laughs>
So that leads me into the next big lesson that I wanted to share with you all is to enjoy everything that life teaches us. And I often reference a lot of person to person teachings and lessons, but there's lessons in everything. Like when a cat passes me or a cat stares me in the eye or maybe it does something to a mouse, like there, there's messages in everything. The behavior, animals hold a message, elements hold a message, the behaviors of animals hold a message. Look out for what you're observing. Maybe there's even more messages to get based off of where you are. Accept and love and appreciate every lesson that we get because most things work out how they're meant to be even if we don't realize the benefit of them or have gratitude for them years down the line. But everything works out how they're meant to be. Um, even missing a turn on a road can be what it's meant to be. And um, just the little, the, little, the little things and the big things are all lessons and to be aware of them and to appreciate them and love them, whether they make you laugh or they make you cry. Because in the end, it all makes sense. Um, even the next day, it just feels good to appreciate and be grateful for like reality, you know, because we're not the only, humans aren't in control of the world. We're not in control of this energy that's around us, making everything do what it does. It's just all divine plan and it feels good to recognize that. God or Brahman or I, just all these different names of gods, just whatever your path is to believe in, um, that that one entity is like giving you a, a way that holds your hand. And so it's a good feeling to recognize and to be able to be vulnerable with yourself and others and also that, that spirit. Just knowing that it was on purpose anyways and it's like a little joke. I think people call it like cosmic joke or maybe a divine joke i'm not sure actually <laughs> but that's what i would say and so it's funny and it would be so cool if in the next life that i have that i also like make some form of a youtube channel and then like maybe like a million years from now there's just like hundreds of me recording myself in different uh like nature places saying things that i learned that'd be funny that'd be cool though you never know